Dr. Michael Solon is a proven expert in the field of IR, whose relentless curiosity has been helping to advance patient care for more than 30 years. A professor of radiology at the Hospital of the University of Pennsylvania, Dr. Solon's personal practice focuses on neuroendocrine tumors, the second most common GI malignancy. He founded the NET Tumor Board at the university and is the principal investigator of the RETNET trial, a global multi-center randomized comparison of embolization techniques for NET liver metastases. He's chaired the North American Neuroendocrine Tumor Society annual meeting, and he's the first radiologist to sit on the board of directors. Dr. Solon attended Yale University as an undergraduate, then went on to earn his medical degree from the University of Pennsylvania. He completed his residency at the Johns Hopkins Hospital, followed by a fellowship at Thomas Jefferson University Hospital in Philadelphia. He has been an active member and leader with SIR over the years, including 13 years of service on the Executive Council and as a board member for the Foundation, serving as chair of the Research Education Division. He's been involved in a number of SIR committees, the Annual Scientific Meeting, the RUC, CME, Council Advisory, Benchmarking, and Foundation Grant Review. And in 2010, we had the pleasure of hearing Dr. Solon present the Daughter Lecture. His involvement and influence have made a powerful impact on the growth of interventional oncology. He was annual meeting chair and president of the World Conference of Interventional Oncology, now the Society of Interventional Oncology, where he serves on the board of directors. His clinical areas of expertise include interventional radiology, interventional oncology, chemoembolization, embolization, and tumor ablation. Many of these areas are also the focus of his research endeavors, which include image-guided cancer therapy, stents, and ultrasound-mediated drug delivery. Dr. Solon credits many mentors in his life, including his mother, SIR founder and 2018 gold medal recipient, Renata L. Solon, MD, FSIR, for their support as he started the Interventional Radiology Clinical Service at the University of Pennsylvania. In turn, he has also inspired countless others in the field to follow in his footsteps. Mike Solon is a gentleman, a scholar, and a visionary. I first met Mike during one of my first invited talks. He took me aside and took the time to reach out and mentor me, even though he didn't know me from Adam. Uh, it really tells, it speaks volumes. I can't think of anyone else who really has IR more in his blood than Mike. He spends most of his waking hours thinking about IR and IO, and probably many of his dreaming hours as well, uh, really giving to those around him. Simply put, Mike Sulin is a class act, and I am proud to share my thoughts and feelings for him. Congratulations, Mike, you're the man. It has been a true honor and pleasure working you over the past 15 years. I would like to thank you on behalf of myself. You believed in me enough to almost get UPenn's residency program shut down to select me as the first direct pathway resident in the country. I would also like to thank you on behalf of your trainees who you have spent endless hours teaching, mentoring, and guiding through our journey as physicians, researchers, scientists, and IRs. On behalf of your colleagues who you allow to flourish and your willingness to answer texts and calls, pages, to help with tough cases wherever you are in the world, even in a helicopter getting evacuated off of a mountain in Italy. On behalf of IRs for continuing to mold the field by developing new research and data to elevate IR's place in medicine. And lastly, and most importantly, I'd like to thank you on behalf of the hundreds and thousands of patients and families for your undying dedication to make their lives better every single day. Congratulations, Michael, well-deserved. Well, I think uh, Michael Sulin is extremely deserving of the gold medal for SIR. Um, he has been a driving force in our specialty ever since I first met him which was actually, ironically, at the SIR annual meeting in Seattle in 1996 when I was a fellow. I think is as enthusiastic and energetic today as he was that day so many years ago in 1996. And uh, he's, it's just been amazing to see the evolution of the field that's gone on over that time. And really, I think he is uh, uh, one of the fathers of interventional oncology. I mean, he's provided a lot of the 
energy and drive and and science um, to, to move this field from sort of a, a fringe concept done by a few of us to now a really major component of, of IR practice um, in the U.S. and really throughout the world. It's, um, it's been phenomenal to see and I don't think we would be where we are today without his work. The Society of Interventional Radiology is honored to recognize 2020 gold medalist, Dr. Michael Solon. Good morning. My thanks to Dr. Findice, the Gold Medal Committee, and everyone who supported my nomination for this unexpected honor. This is my second best SIR moment. The first was three years ago, watching my mother receive her gold medal. My parents were role models for hard work, selfless dedication to others and integrity, and are the reason I am here today. I am blessed to have them watching. The journey to the mountaintop is easier when you ride on the shoulders of giants. Growing up with a mother dashing in and out in her white scrub dress, I knew IRs were doctors who saved lives, made rounds, did consults, and had admitting privileges, and yes, Hashtag women in IR wore scrub dresses back then. I did residency at Johns Hopkins under Bob White, who ran a model of clinical IR service and where Jim Beninati taught me visceral catheterization. Fellowship at Thomas Jefferson was with a group of master clinicians and researchers, including Jeff Gardner, Joe Bond, Kevin Sullivan, Marcel Shapiro, and Matt Consigny. Then I went to Penn and I hit the trifecta. Stan Baum was my chairman, Stan Cope was my partner, and SIR president Mike Pentecost was my section chief. Mentors get you to base camp. The rest of the climb is on you. There are three key ingredients for success. First, you have to work hard, cast a wide net, try many things. Hard work beats intelligence every day. Second, you need grit, tolerance for adversity and tenacity in the face of failure. Winston Churchill said, success is stumbling from failure to failure with no loss of enthusiasm. If you're not failing, you're not working hard enough. At times you'll fail yourself, and you will fail your family. In my two physician household, there were epic snafus, many of them mine, but everyone in my family has grit. And after 34 years, I'm still married to the love of my life, the kids are off the payroll, and I have a beautiful new grandson. I could not have done it all without their love and support. Most importantly, be altruistic. Amos Tversky said, it's easier to make the world a better place than to prove you have made the world a better place. Be the go-to person who helps others succeed and you will be rewarded many times over. A half hour I spent advising an undergrad spawned a research collaboration that garnered three SIR foundation grants. In the audience today are department leaders and NIH researchers who claim that attending a workshop or a brief conversation with me at an SIR meeting when they were young inspired them to pursue their career paths. I have no memory of meeting these people, but what a wonderful legacy. IR changes fast. The things you and I accomplish today will be obsolete in 10 years. Our task is to foster the next generation who will do the things that matter 10 years from now. Invent a new therapy. Design our new residency to make IRs the best doctors they can be. Make IR more diverse and inclusive. The joy on the journey comes from the people, such as my partners for decades at Penn, Rich Lansky Goldberg, Bill Stavropoulos, and Scott Trantola. Volunteering with the SIR, RSNA, and SIO, led to wonderful friendships with so many colleagues and staff, too many to name. To all of you, I send my gratitude for this tremendous honor. I'm excited to see what mountains we will climb next.